Hey Cancer, welcome. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. This is the Connected Conduit where I link with spirit, my higher self, the energies of the universe, and I channel messages for you. Only take these messages if it feels right to you, if it confirms your intuition and it makes sense, okay? So Cancer, the song that I am getting for you as I meditated on your cards is Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. I believe it's by Journey. Um, yeah, don't stop thinking about tomorrow, okay? And the feeling that I was getting as I was channeling that song is um, you've recently moved past some dense energies, some challenging times. I feel like some of you could still kind of be on the tail end of healing that. Um, and, and you're feeling like, some of you might be feeling like, oh my gosh, I just can't see the light at the end of the tunnel like when is this going to shift when is this going to change um and maybe what's going on right now in your life is kind of really taking all your focus and your attention so yeah spirit's just coming through saying like keep moving forward the chariot energy don't stop thinking about tomorrow keep um have faith okay don't let your current challenges dictate your future all right so let's see the cancer and this could be in any area of your life it could be relationships career your home life anything okay you'll have to take it how it resonates i'm going to read it like it's a relationship though all right for cancer i'm going to do past present near future energy just to get kind of um a little ooh, yeah so we have deception and envy coming out seven seven of swords yeah hmm Where is Cancer currently? Where is Cancer currently? Two, Sacral Chakra. And then we have Trapped in Fear. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I was picking up some denser, heavier energies for you, Cancer. Um, I feel like you are dealing with someone or a group of people who just didn't have your best interests at heart. They had ulterior motives, okay? They could have stolen your time, energy, money. They could have been keeping things from you, okay? Not completely honest. You were dealing with someone who was a bit... out for their own good is what I'm hearing okay so you could have been dealing with a taker and with the sacral chakra it's almost like this person or this situation really affected your confidence okay and knocked you down it really set you back because this person took from you so I feel like Yeah, it, I'm just getting like a confidence thing. Like they affected your confidence. So maybe they made you feel like you weren't good enough. Okay. Whoever this was, like they, they were not your person. They were not meant to be in your life. And I feel like they have been removed. If they haven't already, they will be. Okay. And it's for your own good. But it looks like you're still sort of moving through this eight of swords energy which is a feeling of like being trapped stuck not knowing what to do feelings of guilt are coming through like why did i do that why did i go for that person or it's kind of like just this like why like why is this happening and what do i do now that's kind of what's coming through all right
Yeah. Okay, so what's going on with this deception and envy here? I won't spend too much time on this. I don't want to give too much energy to this person or situation that you have moved on from or are currently moving on from. But I'm hearing they set you back. They set you back. So you might have been feeling like really good. You were going forward. Things were going well for you. And then you met this person and things started to slide very quickly. Three of Cups. So this person, I'm definitely picking up they were hiding. Okay, a third party from you. For some of you, this could be someone you were dating. It could also be someone in your friendship circle as well. Knight of Wands. There it is. This, okay, it's so clear. Sorry, it's so, so, so very clear. Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. This screams somebody who was just out to have a good time. They played with your heart. They wasted your time. They hid other options from you. Okay, they had lots of people on the side as well. I think this person just did not want to commit. They were just out for a good time, okay? And I feel like, Cancer, you're a deeper person than that. You wanted that emotional connection. And um, Cancers are so giving, so loving and nurturing. And you, you can just want to, like, take everybody, you know, in and, like, give to them and take care of them. And I think this was another lesson where you had to learn that not everybody deserves your love. Not everybody deserves your kindness, right? Some people are, are out to just take and use and abuse you. So anyways, it's unfortunate that that happened. It's a crummy lesson to learn, right? We've all been there, unfortunately. But I see you. I see you moving on, even though it was like a bumpy patch. I see you moving on. So let's get some energy for the sacral. I'm hearing never again, never again will I ever be with somebody like that or put myself in that sort of situation. Never again. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like, yeah, in the world, see, it's like th th this is over. Whatever this was, it's finished. It's completed. Cycle complete. Chapter closed. So you're stepping out into a whole new cycle and it's not with this person. This person has been removed or is about to be removed. And you have like a new opportunity with a new person coming in. Yeah, the lovers. So this is you making a choice from the heart, doing what's right for you and releasing someone who isn't serving you. Because I know like cancers are super intuitive, right? And incredibly intuitive and psychic. And you know that this person is not for you. Okay, so you're making a choice from the heart to close out that cycle. Um And be at peace is what I'm hearing. You're like choosing to be at peace and reclaiming your power. You've learned your lessons and you're never going to do that again. I'm hearing like you're going to choose to do things in a different way. So if you always went for the same type of person, you're done with that now. And you're really ready to like change your behaviors and your attitudes and um, perhaps even where you meet people might change. So maybe if you're going out, always meeting people at the bar, you're done with that and you're ready to meet someone in a different like setting. So maybe, I don't know, like at the gym or um, when you sign up to do like a hobby or something like that, or you could let your friends set you up. Online dating for some of you. Okay, let's get some energy on this trapped in fear. Seven of Wands. Hmm. 
you know what I'm instantly getting is that this person who is not good for you, okay, the player, we'll just say the player, okay, um, they may try to get into your head, they may try to come back, and you're going to have to stand your ground with them. I feel like some of you will be very assertive, you will potentially block them if you have to. But what I'm getting is that you're not willing to settle for less than you deserve. And you know this person's not good enough for you. Okay, look, five of pentacles. Man, did they leave you in a horrible state. They really shattered you. They really did take from you. The five of pentacles is, is feeling lost, depleted, tired, left out in the cold, abandoned, hurt, drained, depleted. That's what I'm getting. It's just at a loss, okay? Never again though, right? Never again is what I'm hearing. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to work on your mindset. You're going to work on your your feelings of fear or guilt. Def it's definitely guilt, I feel. I feel like you're being hard on yourself. Like, why didn't I see that? All the red flags were there. I should have known. I had a feeling something was off, but I ignored it and I just did it anyways. It, it's that. That's coming through. But I feel like you're going to be rebuilding and working through like this mental state. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Eight of Swords came out. This person had you really, really in... A, in a bad way. All I'm getting is I should have known better. I should have known better. Okay, that's what I'm hearing as I look at this card. Like, what did I do? I should have known better. Okay, so it's guilt, you guys. But Spirit saying, with the hangman on the bottom of the deck, um, let that go. Let your guilt go. Forgive yourself. You're human. Everybody's human. Everybody makes mistakes. Although it's not a mistake, okay? It's a learning opportunity. And sometimes some of the lessons we have to learn are not fun lessons. They're heartbreaking. They're horrible. But I feel like your lesson in this was knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. Setting good boundaries. And forgiveness. Okay, that's another one of your lessons. Like forgiving yourself. It's not your fault, you know? You have such a big heart. It's just that not everybody deserves your love. The wheel. The wheel represents things turning in your favor, luck being on your side. It also represents cycles, okay? And I was kind of getting like karmic lessons, karmic cycles, right? because I was just talking about, you know, some of your lessons that you learned from this. And I feel like that is coming through with the wheel was that this was just sort of part of your karma, part of um, your life's path, so to speak. Okay. 
It's something that you, you had to learn in this lifetime. And with the Nine of Cups on the bottom, this is all about you going after what makes you feel good. Doing things for yourself that make you happy. Living life for you on your terms. Okay? Choosing you. That's what I'm getting. You're choosing you. So maybe... <clears throat> I feel like perhaps, only take this if it resonates, it won't be for all of you, but perhaps you were putting other people's needs first, right? And forgetting your own. And that was another lesson too. Um, and I think that's changing. So, Cancer. What else for Cancer? Five of Pentacles. You were over giving. You were, you were over giving to the point where you had nothing left. Like you felt all alone, constantly disappointed, abandoned, not good enough, not seen, not heard, not valued. I'm actually getting really emotional. This is a hard read cancer. Um, yeah, I'm sorry you've been going through this. Tough lessons. Tough lessons. Okay, spirit, we get it. Cancer's had a rough go. Let's show Cancer what is to come. After these tough lessons, what is to come for Cancer? Ooh, King of Wands. So male or female, this is somebody who, you know what I feel, Cancer? I honestly feel like this could be somebody coming towards you, but I also feel for many of you, this is you reclaiming your power, reclaiming your confidence, knowing your worth. You are an amazing person and you have a lot to offer, a lot. So I see you regaining your confidence, reclaiming your power. I also see you being tougher because you know what? Cancers are so sweet sometimes. <laughs> They're known to be like, not all of them, but like many can be walked over, right? Part of, you know, you have to learn to assert yourself and have good boundaries with people. And I see you doing that. I see you not being afraid to like say how it is to speak your truth to somebody. Right? To tell people no. <laughs> right? Because I feel like you maybe you were a people pleaser, a yes person, even if it didn't suited you or you felt uncomfortable, you still would go out of your way to make someone else feel comfortable, but you're not willing to do that anymore. I see you like putting your foot down. Like, no, that doesn't suit me. No, thanks. Not doing that. Knight of Swords. I feel like this is you taking like quick, decisive action in your life towards what makes you happy. Like, all I'm seeing is this guy running, right? He has his back turned and he's off. He's like out of there. So this is you leaving unfulfilling situations and people behind getting on your motorbike and going on an adventure oh I'm, i just heard like sayonara sucker <laughs> sayonara sucker wow good for you the hermit i feel like this could have been a Virgo that you were dealing with. Okay, but it doesn't have to be. Um, we also have Gemini out on the table. But I feel, I feel like this is you just being like, you know what, I'm good. I'm good on my own. I'm gonna spend some time alone. I'm gonna do things for me. It's time, it's me time, okay? I'm gonna put myself first. 
What else is coming in for Cancer? What other energies? Ooh, you're breaking the chains. You're breaking a pattern. I heard that very clearly. Two of Cups. Okay, so things are coming into balance for you, Cancer, and you have a beautiful connection coming in. Okay, it could be with a King of Wands or a King of Pentacles, male or female. This is a soulmate connection. I'm hearing this is somebody who will stand by you. They will be at your side through thick and thin. I'll stand by you. I'll stand by you. Won't let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. Yeah, this person is very much like your ride or die. See, I won't let anybody hurt you. 2121, as I say that. That's a 3-3. Three, three. And the Three of Swords has come out. Yeah, you've been put through the ringer, Cancer. I just heard you've been to hell and back, okay? This has not been pretty, not been fun. Your heart's been broken. And you've suffered emotionally and mentally. And I feel like it's also affected your physical health, actually. It's set you back. So look at this, justice. I won't let anybody hurt you. Okay, so this person has a strong sense of what's right, what's just, okay? I know this sounds cheesy, but this person is going to be your hero. I mean, you're your own hero, but that's what I'm feeling. Like, this person wants to step up and be your hero. They want to support you. They want to be that rock for you. Okay. This person wants to stand by you, the two of cups, and they won't let anybody hurt you, three of swords. That message was confirmed. Okay. And there's the sun, the biggest yes card in the deck. Very happy. This is this relationship, this person is about to be revealed to you soon. They could be a Leo. Or just have that somewhere in their chart. But again, it, it really doesn't have to be. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Ooh, we have more. The Hangman. This situation has increased your awareness. It's heightened your abilities, actually, is what I'm hearing. So if you were already intuitive or, or psychic, your abilities are going to the next level. And it's because of everything you've gone through, okay? It's almost like your initiation. You've learned all your lessons. Your karma is complete. I just heard like, it's done now. It's done. You can relax. You can be at peace. The worst is over. Forgive yourself. And just try to move on. Just keep moving forward. Oh yeah, thank you for reminding me, Spirit. I was channeling the song, Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow keep thinking about your future keep moving ahead um try not to spend too much time rehashing the past although you know if you have to go there and talk it through even if you need to yeah go talk to a friend a family member a counselor um to kind of deal with it and then be able to clear it Purge it, get it out, and move on. 
That way you're not carrying burdens from the past with you into your future. Wow, six of wands. See, don't stop thinking about tomorrow because you are going to have victory. The six of wands comes after the five of wands. The five of wands is a very tricky place to be in. It's all about conflict, chaos, change. Struggle, okay? It's just like struggling. And the six of wands is having victory over that being successful, having a promotion. So didn't I just say that your intu intuition and your psychic abilities are being heightened, right? It's a promotion. It's been an initiation. That's confirmed with the Six of Wands here. That's what the Six of Wands represents. It represents a new level, a promotion, success, achievement, a victory. Okay? Okay. The heart, it's over. I mean, not to say that hard times will never, ever happen again. I mean, that's just not realistic. But the worst of it, it's over. So you can relax. You can feel safe. You can be at peace and just breathe and know that you have amazing, amazing things coming in for you. And this was all part of the plan. And I know it can be hard sometimes to hear that, but... There is a sacred plan and there was a reason this happened and you learned a lot of very valuable lessons and I know you know that because I heard never again, never again will I do that or be with that type of person or put myself in that type of situation. I've learned my lessons. I know my worth. I'm done with that. And you're moving on. Brand new beginning with the fool, okay? This is also spirit or the universe coming through saying like, trust, trust that all is well, trust that there's a sacred plan and you're being taken care of and we will show you the way we will get you out of this. We will guide you to smoother waters. Okay. Oh, cancer. It's not always sunshine and rainbows, is it? No, it's not. But you're headed towards that. Okay. So please don't give up hope. free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And I feel like that's what you did because you were in a prison, a mental prison, or just in a situation that was just not good for you. And then I was talking about trust, right? Trusting the universe. And then I split the deck on trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Um, there may be a need here after all of this, you know, dense energy that you've gone through. There may be a need to go out and play. Whoa. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. See, this is what I mean. So, for example... You may have been with somebody who was just like in and out. They weren't really interested in getting to know you. They were a player, right? They didn't invest anything, nothing emotionally, all right? But this person coming in towards you, they want to get to know you. They're going to move slowly, okay? It's going to be healthy. So like, for example, they will take you out on dates, and get to know you and ask you questions and they're going to show interest in you. Not like this person who was probably just like, you want to come over <laughs> and did nothing. Like didn't put any effort into anything, right? And then they just took your time and your energy and your effort and they didn't give anything back to you. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So there may be, you may be called to take a break to rest after everything you've gone through, okay? And I also feel like for some of you, you could be going away together with your new person, going on a nice little trip. Even if it's just a day trip somewhere. It's, it's a classic love. This person is 
you know, if it's a man, they're a gentleman. If it's a woman, she's a lady, okay? High class, high honor people, like, and it's your soulmate, okay? And there's going to be a lot of chemistry between the two of you. All right. Let's get one more affirmation for you, Cancer. One more. Oh, that came out fast. Spirit, I am filled with light. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my spirit is eternal and ageless. Let me release any old ideas of constriction or limitation. My whole being is filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. So, you know what's kind of coming through with this one is something to do with a lack of confidence again like maybe you felt not worthy or not good enough right like old ideas that you had of yourself that's that those are the key words that are standing out to me releasing old ideas okay old beliefs old belief systems that just don't serve you anymore and you realize that's actually not the truth the truth is I am amazing. I am filled with light. I am beauty. I am love. And I am worthy of a great love. Okay? That's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. Beautiful. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. If you're new, I would love to have you. Good luck on your journey. Lots of love and light. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.